Pepper Iron Cowboy has earned the right to face the two-time world champion bucking bull, Bushwhacker. Let's send it down to J.W. Hart and Justin McBride for their thoughts on this matchup. Well, I don't think it's any secret what, which way I think this is going to go. I think, you know, if a guy, if a guy can't ride Mississippi, hit me or Mickey Mouse, those are two ranked bulls, but this by, by far, I think, is the best bull in the world going right now. He's done got, you know, four bulls under his belt, so he's got the, the ropes a little bit not as sticky as it used to be, and he's a little fatigued. I think this one goes Bushwhacker's way all day long. Yeah, uh, JR might have a little fatigue, but Bushwhacker does not, and JW, as you hinted to, we're talking about possibly the greatest bull of all time. Uh, I know there's a million bucks, and that's a great motivator, but I just don't think it's in the cards tonight. I think Bushwhacker wins this one, guys. Shorty, what are you thinking as we see our final pairing of this weekend? You know, I, I, I can never bet against Bushwhacker. He's just that good. He's a, he's a bull that no matter who gets on him, this bull, uh, even, on him, any, even on his off days, is as good as most bulls. That being said, he's going to be into Joel's hand. He can go to the right. We've seen him do it before, but he's going to be to the left probably. Uh, I, I'm still picking the bull. I think he might make it around the corner, and then the bull's going to get too strong and outpower him. Ty, I know you're not going to stamp Bushwhacker with greatest ever, but that doesn't mean he isn't fun to watch every time the gate opens. Well, I think this bull's as rank as anything I've ever Ever seen and I and I do think he's the total package. I think he has every element a great bull should have in spades. The part that I'm so excited about is as a founder of the PBR is seeing a guy get to stick his hand in the rope one time for one million dollars. The million is safe, and so is the legacy for the moment. Bushwhacker loves to come out and impress. And he's ready for another one. 2.17 seconds is all this one goes. But take nothing away from J.R. Vieta, this year's Dr. Pepper Iron Cowboy. You know, here's the thing that's so, that, that, that just proves how ranked this bull is, is that's him turning the dial to about six. And we all know that he can crank it a lot higher than that. And he just does what he has to do. And that's because he understands this game so well. That is one fantastic bucking bull. 46 and three quarters, the bull score, which is as you said, Ty, that's Bushwhacker at level six or seven. We've seen him get upwards of 48 points, but today he didn't need it against a guy who had been through the ringer throughout the event. J.R. Vieira, the 2014 Dr. Pepper Iron Cowboy champion. He will earn $50,000 for the effort. He just won't get to pocket one million. There are our top bull scorers, Bushwhacker and Stone Sober tie at 46 and three quarters. Bushwhacker is going to be our Kawasaki strong bull. Yeah, I mean, looking for the replacement of Bushwhacker after his farewell season this year. Stone Sober and Mickey Mouse, they're right there. Let's take another look at J.R. Vieta against Bushwhacker. It didn't last long. No, and I mean, what, what can you say about that bull that hasn't been said? He just, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of great athlete you're looking at, you're looking at are they the total package, and, and he is. Bushwhacker, always calm, cool, and collected after he gets back behind the shoots. That's his ninth straight buck off. J.R. Vieta may be the 2014 Dr. Pepper Iron Cowboy, but the man who finished second, Gage Gay, had a breakthrough weekend, and he's standing by with Leah. 